Despite optimized medical treatment, many COVID-19 patients develop irrecoverable lung damage and cannot be weaned from mechanical life support. While lung transplant is the only treatment option in these patients, there are concerns related to its technical and medical success, uh, given that these patients have had a complex course, uh, including many complications. We use scientific reports, peer-to-peer -peer, uh, information and media sources to identify all the centers that have performed such transplants globally. Uh, and then we developed a multinational COVID-19 lung transplant consortium uh, to study the near-term outcomes following lung transplant for severe COVID-19 and develop provisional guidelines to facilitate decision-making. The first consecutive national transplants performed in the United States, uh, in uh, Vienna, in Italy, and India were included, a total of 12 cases. We were not able to make contact with centers in China and South Korea that had also allegedly performed such transplants during the study period. Uh, the decision to proceed with lung transplant in each case included in this series was made in a multidisciplinary manner. All the centers included lung transplant surgeons, pulmonologists, intensivists, and infectious disease experts. The surgeons in all centers except one in India were dedicated thoracic surgeons with a focus on non-cardiac surgery. Determination uh, of irreversibility was made on a multidisciplinary uh, clinical evaluation and confirmed with the pathologic examination of the explanted lungs. All of these patients included in the study were deemed to be uh, um, irrecoverable uh, and without the possibility of lung transplant, care would have been withdrawn in all of these patients at the respective centers. Um, as far as results are concerned, uh, the surgical procedure was met with a surmountable technical difficulties uh, due to significant pleural scarring, hilar uh, lymphadenopathy, pulmonary hypertension, and consequent right ventricular pressure overload. Incre increased blood transfusion was required during the transplantation in all of these patients, and the post-op complications included uh, acute renal failure and hemothorax in some patients. Despite that, the 30-day survival for the study cohort was 100%, and after a median follow-up follow of 80 days, only one patient uh, suffering from critical illness neuropathy prior to transplant had died, while the other 11 patients had either recovered or were following a satisfactory path to recovery with successful wean from oxygen and improvement in their Karnofsky performance status. Uh, so we conclude that lung transplant is a viable treatment option for select patients with severe COVID-19 in experienced centers uh, with the necessary skills and resources. The post-transplant outcomes uh, can approach uh, uh, those of non-COVID-19 patients. Thank you.